you know. So you're still playing with Pantera? Yes, I'm still playing with Pantera, I guess, unless, you know, they're against me. And you think they're against you right now? Nah, hell so. no. Hey, man, you got a nice buzz going on. Oh, I feel great, man. <laughs> I think we could all see Why that. not? I, I, why not? I'm not knocking this, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why? <laughs> Absolutely. That's exactly how I feel. Only I don't mind the beer in the brown bottle. That's all right. You're kinda, what are you talking about? I don't know. It's a little picky. A little picky about the beer? Nah, I, I could drink it in the brown bottle. That's yeah. fine. Oh, you're talking about the Budweiser? Yeah. No, Budweiser is like beer-flavored water. It's crap. You don't like it? No, it's awful. It's the <laughs> one of I enjoy the it. extensions of corporate America. One of the worst <laughs> tasting beers. See, I get the impression possible. A guy like you, though, I don't. You wouldn't care. No, you got it. What? I just thought maybe oh, you wouldn't Why mind. wouldn't he care? Of course he's going to care about beer he drinks. No, because I'm the kind of guy, I don't care, you know. Put it in front of me, right? Yeah, but you're not a monster. No, 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 no. No? No. Beer's I'm a long, 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 long time alcoholic. And I, I, I <laughs> you know, I figure at this point I ought to be what you call picky. <laughs> a little picky? Why not? What's the, uh, you like any of the booze or anything? Yeah, wild turkey. <laughs> wild turkey. <laughs> Hell that stuff's yeah. That's nasty. It's, That's uh, stuff. It's yeah, well, great, that. great the for the liver. Turkey. Yeah, okay. great for the liver. <laughs> and what about any extracurricular uh, mind-altering drugs? Anything like that? I plead the fifth. Because uh, our buddy there, Stinky, there on the couch, loves uh, loves the weed. We all know that. Oh, well, that's that, all right. Hey, I think that's cool. I, 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 sm Phil, I smoke myself. You I smoke a little yourself there, Phil? I just think it's a stepping it's bigger and better drugs. <laughs> He's cursing like crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is radio. I apologize for my blasphemous lips. All right, so uh, he does the smoke thing to, to move on to other things there. Yeah. That's cool. All right, right on. Why not? But marijuana is one of those things that the majority of America has smoked. Yeah. Dope. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's the bigger, scarier <laughs> drugs that horrify people, you know? Right. right, the crack and the heroin. Absolutely, you know, and there, there's reason to be horrified of those drugs. They are, Apparently so. you know, incredibly, uh, the, they are the controller. Yeah. And um, to get out underneath that thumb that they put you under. We're under thumbs? Well, the drugs. Oh. Yeah. So get, get with it, Opie. And I'm trying to follow, Jesus man. Jesus Christ. But he's right. Okay, I'm listening. I'm absolutely right. Sorry. No matter all, uh, no, no about any of the ridiculous banter between you people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you take that. I, I, uh, it's just banter. We're just. I've lived a hardcore f life, man. <laughs> right, right. I hear that. And I am a. Uh, You've led a thorough, thorough examiner of um, things that that most people wouldn't get near, uh, you know, with a ten foot pole, you know, and. You know, I want to see. I want to know it's for myself. I want to see for myself. And that's why I call myself and people like myself lifers, man. You know, you always have that flair in you that is going to make you live on the edge every day of your life. Live on the edge every day of your life. When I was 15 years old, I burned my parents' house down. What, what the hell? Is Seven it, days ago, I wrecked my brand new truck going 65 miles an hour. What happened there? Straight on smash. Some drunk ass uh, hit, rear-ended this, this girl. So you and he spun out 
and got himself sideways in the middle of the road, so there was no lights for me to see, no anything like that. You keep on. And it was just darkness and then him that fast. And if I would have pulled right or left, I would have been in the lake and drowned anyway. Instead, I plowed right through this guy's car. And this guy was completely inebriated completely annihilated were you fine i was absolutely fine <laughs> yeah you know i just wanted to go home i was exhausted and um she, you know hey man uh is the guy all right that you hit oh he he wasn't even in the car oh you yeah, know out and left oh his yeah car. and he was like you know dude what happened with your parents house uh you said you burned it down. I, 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 I uh, plead the fifth. That sounds like an interesting story. <laughs> Was it an accident? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> they left a cigarette on the edge of the table or something? No, no, no. It wasn't some stupid <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. Uh, I'm way, sorry. I'm sorry. It slipped out a few times. That's no problem. We just I think apologize, we just, man. We just think I'm there might a... be a story there that uh, people can relate to. Most people don't say, you know, they burnt their parents' house down and then you move right on. I'd like to, you know. It seems like you uh, set the house on fire because you might have had some problems with your parents. And that might be something. Who? That's the, now you're you're speculating. I'm I'm asking. I'm thinking. Did more. you just say something? What'd you say? No, I didn't say nothing. My mother had problems with. No, 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 <laughs> no. What did you say, Opie? What'd you say? I'm trying to get this to the guy's bottom. A son of a bitch, no, man. No, and, no, you know, no, no, no. He always no. says crap no. like this to people <laughs> that come on here. And that's that's dumb, though. I it's mean, stupid. Yeah. No, not today. Not today. That's yeah. stupid. Anyone ever tell you you look like Tom Savini? Tom Savini. Tom Savini is a great special effects. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, no <laughs> shit. All the Friday the 13th. No shock, Cheryl. Like, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> he, uh, we just want to know more about Dawn of the Dead. Tom Savini. Well, great. let's get back to that. He's done all kinds. I mean, things like. Hey, hey Phil. Phil. One. Talk to us. What, right. what happened with the parents' house? you got to dwell on this. Well, there's too many people interested. They're telling us. It's got to be a good story. I don't feel like it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And really? Yeah. And, and I burnt down the woods once playing like army men. No, nah, I wasn't really you like fire, that. It was like home. I was trying to terrify my little sister. It's a half death. <laughs> and the whole thing was, uh, it's too much for me to get into. It'd be a waste of time. But as opposed, to, obviously, as opposed to, uh, uh, as opposed to <laughs> anything you want to talk about, we could talk about um, the shape of boxing today. Hey, I, you know, I know names and records and fighters that you guys fight have fight. never heard of. I gave up on the fight. Fashid Sith Bang Pachan. I mean, for God's sake. He was a sakes. special effects guy. Absolutely wrong. <laughs> oh, wrong on that one? Former IBF flyweight champ. Can we junior talk, flyweight can champ. Can we talk about drugs? We did already. I want to know what kind of yeah, drugs he does. Yeah, it's boring, man. Come on, man. Everybody's talking about drugs before. Come I on. just want to know what kind of drugs he does. I want to, I want to feel cool. Like I... You know, I can relate to him. Like, I do a little drugs, he does a little drugs. Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Jeez, <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> you got that carrot glow cocaine <laughs> nah, no. shimmy shammy no bull co crap no. about you. No, nah, no cocaine. Not in, in the 80s? <laughs> no Maybe cocaine. a little toot, little toot in the 80s? Nothing? Oh, well, there was a little the bump. 80s. Yeah, sure. Uh, how old are you, sir? I'm uh, 47 years old. <laughs> Oh, crap. How old are you? I'm in my 30s. How old are you? I'm 30-something. How old are you? 30 what? 30... 30... Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. I'm being vague like You're you. You're choking, uh, man. Yeah, you know? What is it? I'm about as old as you, I bet. Perhaps. How old, perhaps how old a guy are you, man? What? How old a guy? How old is what? How old are you? 
How old am I? I just turned 34 June 30th. Happy birthday. Shut up. <laughs> you don't like Still living on the edge. You don't huh? like being 34? That's the stupidest age ever. It really is. 34 is stupid. 34. Four. That's boring, man. Nothing happens at 34. Do you feel like you're getting too old for rock and roll? I feel like I'm too old for uh, going to sleep or something. Man, I'm like... <laughs> I just... I feel like one walking St. Vitus record, you know? Yeah. Whatever when that I was 15. I yeah. <laughs> when I was 15... I felt like a walking Slayer concert. Now it's St. Vitus and that. You know, I mean, for crying out loud. Catches up to you a little bit. Do you, do you think you're going to... Ah, you know, screw that too. Do you think yeah. you're going to see old age? Do you want to see old age? Either way, I'm not afraid of what you call what? Croaking? Kicking the bucket? Is that what you're getting at? Yeah, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, well, Seems don't like chicken out on me. Say yay yeah, and nay. Seems like you like living on the edge, sure. Sure. Well. You're not scared of death? No, not at all. Really? It's so overrated, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've died a bunch of times, and. Have you got. Uh, how, matter of fact, how close I, have you I come just. To death? I just. What are you talking oh, about? He was clinically dead for a couple of four minutes. minutes man four minutes. i don't know what's the that story again 96 dead. man i od'd on the bad stuff and uh and you were dead for four minutes yeah and then they did you see put anything? me in the ambulance did i see anything yeah. did anything come to me all that yeah. crap Angels absolutely <laughs> not nothing nothing you're not giving it they home. said they had me up Braining me, kicking my ass, uh, putting me under showers, putting ice in my tickles. Oh, I mean, you know, going berserk <laughs> trying to re revive me. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, there were uh, uh, paramedics. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> paramedics on hand. And um, four minutes, though. Did that do any brain damage or anything? Well, what you, you tell me. You know. know. You seem like a regular guy. It would seem to me like if you were four minutes dead, you know, you might, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. freaked out a little. See, that's something. You might not be afraid of death, but what if you're a drooling retard? A drooling idiot retard? You may as well, you know, put so the gun soft. in my mouth for me. Please do. So you're saying that if, you know, you ended up... Kill yeah, me yeah, immediately. Well, it, yeah. it looks like it was a good wake-up call for him. Seems like he's got his act together and he's, uh, you know... What? What happened? I'll just let you know straight up, man. <laughs> why, why I, I, will let, that, man? I will let anyone, anyone know that there is a drug called methadone. Oh. That saves your ass. Yeah. It saves your ass. If you want to get your life back, if you want the ability to leave your home mm -hmm. without multiple paranoias and sickness and just the worst psychosis you could ever imagine. Really? Yeah, it's awful. Like monsters and stuff? No, more like you got a delivery like more like Shatman. more like <laughs> I know. you feel like inside of you. Yeah. Just the the messages your body's giving your brain are I am killing you. It's like pissed off. I'm going you you're killing me. You my body's telling me yeah. you you are killing me. So so the methadone when, comes that down. Uh no, the methadone what it does is get you off of that particular drug. May have some side effects. Um <laughs> yes, it has some side effects, but you know Comparatively to being absolutely illegal, being absolutely destitute, mm -hmm. being absolutely at the mercy of 
this horrific drug. Yeah. It um it makes a whole a lot more sense. Uh, so I almost said the it S really does. I did. So are you on this methadone right now? Yes, I am. Nice. There you go, and it, it works for you. So that's all. That's all you need. I wouldn't be able to come do this uh, interview if it weren't for, uh, you know, the medicine, you know? Yeah. You know, I'd be this withdrawn the, shell of God knows what. Whatever you know? works for you, man. God bless. Yeah, you seem pretty yeah, lively, so it's uh, definitely working for you. That's cool. He's still rocking, dude. That's still rocking. Still have... rocking. I jam. In June, I toured with ja with uh, Down that lasted a month, and then jumped right into Super Joint Ritual, which lasted almost a month, and then four days later, we started this tour. So I have been working my balls off. What do you What do you call home when you're uh, not touring? Where are you? I have close to 20 acres of woods that have trails all through them and I have a Rottweiler dog named Dracula and me and him walk the woods and I have two white sand beaches. What state man? Louisiana. Louisiana? Yes. I was born and raised in New Orleans. That explains a lot. <laughs> Holy crap, we went down to New Orleans. Those people know how to party. <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ. My dad's up, been in the bar business for 40 years. Now he's in the restaurant bar business. You know, I know all about it, you know. Anyway, uh, the point is, I mean, yeah, my dad. We don't need a point. When I was <laughs> we don't six even years old, my dad was giving me shots of Everclear, you know. Really? <laughs> laughing with his buddies and shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like, my God. Don't you think that might have had something to do with ending up having a, you know. What? The a millionaire son. That's the point. He just made his point. He started drinking at six because yeah. they jumped out of that. Yeah, they Everclear, jumped out. You just said the the curse word there, but it was ever clear your dad was feeding you at six years old. That set you. You think that set you down this path? I'm the foggiest premonition, however, <laughs> you know. Uh, it might have had something to do with it. When I was around 15, 14, and I was doing gigs, you know, uh, just to try and get my name out there, man. I mean, I was making no money. Here's I see everybody else has got, like, McDonald's bags and <laughs> Wendy's bags and all this crap. But yeah. I ain't got nothing. I'm like, man, uh, you got some French fries left over, you know? And I mean, I would sleep in friends' cars. It's really living large, that, that McDonald's. I, I would live in friends' cars and wait for their parents to, people go, get McDonald's. To, to go to work. And I'd sneak through the back window and get something to eat and split, you know? Yeah. Whatever it takes, you know. I did that for a long time until I moved to Texas and joined Pantera. They, uh, I lived in a place and I made 200 bucks a weekend. You know, that, that was bad. like that was amazing. That'll get you some happy meals. <laughs> <laughs> Got me more than that, man. I, I was I was loving it, man. 200 bucks a weekend, right on. It was awesome. It really was. Well, I think we got a break uh, here. Well, and we'll let you go. I think uh, I think we had fun today, right? Uh, uh, we gotta go have a play commercials. Yeah, that. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Did you have fun, Phil? Yeah, man, we had some fun. Absolutely. I feel like we really bonded. We come from the same place, I'm thinking. He's a smart ass. <laughs> this guy is a smart ass. He's giving me the look of death. I don't know quite how to look at you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. Damn. <laughs> right. Good. 
I can I can handle that. Well, it's uh, it's Philip Anselmo. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, from down, you're doing the down thing, and then back to the Pantera thing eventually, right there, bro. Yeah. Okay. He's he threw the mic down. That's cool. He's picking it up again. Just don't hit anyone with that. It depends on them, you know. We have to <laughs> we have to speak, you know. We have to speak with one another and decide on the decision. You must be a pisser on tour, bro. Uh, I'm actually very much to myself. I try and get all the boxing news possible. <laughs> boxing and, again. Uh, I like, uh... Seems like you're the life of the party, though. Interracial porn. Yes! <laughs> interracial porn! All right. There, Dr. Jimmy, he loves that, too. Right, there he goes. Good man. Thank you, Phil. Phil, thanks, bro. <laughs> the best interview of the day, right there. Can I shake your hand, or... All right, there he goes, Phil. Phil. One of the coolest people on the planet. <laughs> He's doing the down thing That's a now. rock star, oh, dude. That's a rock star. All right. Jesus. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. There he goes. Yeah, Andrew cool WK has been sitting here in shock the whole interview. How amazing is that? Wow. My mouth up off the ground. <laughs> what a cool dude. The real deal. He's the real deal. Look at him. Look at him. He's just walking there away like a zombie. See what can happen. I've never seen anyone walk slower in my life. In my life. It's step number four. Step five. <laughs> Here comes six. That guy could care less about death. What do you say? Death is overrated? I am anticipating your next word with great anticipation. <laughs> I've never been so scared in my life, i got to admit, right now. You know, let me make tell a you. Uh, out of my oh my, I, was, I, I wanted to make more wisecracks, but I was too scared. There's a lot the in the the look he gave, and he was wearing the darkest sunglasses, oh, but I could great. still see his eyes. We should put him in middays. He could take, say five words, and it would take four hours. Yeah, there you go. That's great. What do you think, that Andrew WK? Rocking. Okay. I've, I've, never, I've never met the man, but I got to shake his hand now. I'm very honored, so he's he's very cool. That's the guy that's living on the edge, like he said. Right. Oh, yeah. He's, he can't get any more real than that guy. So. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. I look up at him in awe. Anthony, why don't we take a quick break? Yeah, let's do that. But it's O&A, Andrew WK, Stacy, the rest of the gang, uh, backstage at OzFest here in Camden, New Jersey. Stay there.